<clears throat> Welcome to Cardinals post game. I'm Stevie Taylor alongside John Gidley, and your Cardinals did it. They defeat the Plymouth White Marsh Colonials by a final score of 34-28 and take over first place in the Suburban One American Conference. And what a game it was. Right out of the gate, the Cards forced a turnover and capitalized. Brian Stover under center. That's number three, Tamir Bailey in motion. They'll hand it off to Khalif Lee. Khalif Lee up the middle, and it is a touchdown for the Cardinals. Well, only a little over a minute into the game, and the Cardinals take the early lead. However, on the next drive, the Colonials march down the field and even the score at seven apiece. Third and goal at the one. Cardinals could use a big early stand. It's a quarter, and Winterbottom is in for the touchdown, and PW responds with a touchdown of their own. A little later, the, Car the Colonials took their first lead of the game when Jake Winterbottom found the end zone to make it 14-7. Rogers has a plethora of receivers to his left. He'll give to Winterbottom. Winterbottom across the 15, or now at the 15, he's to the 10, he's to the five, and he's into the end zone for a PW touchdown. Right before the half, it looked like the Colonials would take a commanding 21-7 lead into halftime. But the Cards defense came up with a huge goal line stand to keep the score 14-7 heading into halftime. They give us to Christian Jones once again. And, and is he into the end I don't zone? think so. I don't think so. He's going to be stopped. Nope. 10 seconds to go. And they stopped them. Let's see what happens. They're trying to hurry up. Only five seconds left. They're not going to get a playoff, I don't think. Three. They get one play. And, and he, he stopped. The end he, he stopped. stopped oh, what a play to go to the half. As that the Cardinal players rush to the locker room with huge momentum after that goal line what stand. What a way to end the half. Wow. The stop gave the Cardinals much needed momentum going into the locker room. The momentum carried into the third quarter when the Cardinals took the opening kickoff and drove down the field to tie the game at 14. Nine yard line. Stover with two backs behind him. And Tamir Valley once again in motion. And they give it to Khalif Lee. Khalif to the 15, he's to the 10, five, touchdown Cardinals! Khalif Lee with his fifth touchdown in two games. They can't stop him! 20 to 14. Give us to Khalif Lee. Khalif to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Cardinals. Three touchdowns again for Khalif Lee for the second straight game. Cole DeAndre attacked on the extra point, and the Cards had a 21-20 advantage. However, the Cardinals would take, uh, take the lead once again when Nafis Nasir took it in for a PW touchdown. Rodgers under center. He will hand it off. Nasir up the middle, and Nasir in for the touchdown. PW regains the lead. Nasir also added a two-point conversion, which put PW up 28-21 early in the fourth quarter. Now trailing in the game, the Cards needed a touchdown. They drove down to the PW seven-yard line, where they faced a critical fourth and two. What happened next will go down in history. With a man wrapped around him, Ryan Stover somehow found Matt Thompson, who made the catch of his life in the end zone, and the game was tied 28-28. Big play here. Under five to go. Cardinals need a first down. Anything can and will happen here. Eye formation for the Cardinals. Stover will fake the throw, or excuse me, fake the handoff. Now pressure coming, no, gets rid you. of it, and it is caught. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, Matt Thompson, what a catch. He does it again. Oh my goodness. He does it again. And the sideline erupts. What a play from Ryan Stover, just to get rid of the ball. And Matt, Star, excuse me, Matt Thompson somehow hauled that in, and the Cardinals miraculously are an extra point away from tying the game. After the Cards scored, PW got the ball back with enough time for one more drive. They made their way to midfield where they faced a fourth and two. They decided to go for it, a risky call, and the Upper Dublin defense made them pay. Here's the play of the game, hand it off, and he didn't get it, he did not get it! The Cardinal offense got the ball back with a chance to win the game, and that's exactly what they did. Ryan Stover led the offense down to the 23 yard line, and from there, senior John Lee took care of the rest. Stover. We'll take the snap. Hands it off. John Lee up the middle. He's got a hole. Inside the 50. Inside the 10. Oh, and John Lee. Yes. yes. John Lee, the senior, with 34.2 seconds left. Cardinals take the lead. Now all, now all Upper Dublin needed was one more stop. The man who stepped up was Tom Henning. The senior has become quite the legend around Upper Dublin. He's a senior class treasurer. He was elected to the homecoming court. He even scored the first touchdown on the new turf field. But this play topped them all. 
Marable will take the snap. Pressure coming, and he's gonna he's go down. down! Back at the six yard line. The clock continues to run. 10 seconds left. Corey's hurrying eight, back to the line. Seven, six, and that's five, gonna be it. Four, that's gonna be it. Three. The Cardinals are gonna win. They won! They won the game! 34 28. PW's 25 game winning is over. Their conference titles are perhaps over. And the Cardinals win 34 28. And with that, the game is over. 34 28, Cardinals with the win. PW's 25 conference game win streak over. PW's three straight conference titles over if the cards went out. And John, what a heck of a game we witnessed. Uh, well, definitely the most memorable game that I've broadcasted mm -hmm. and probably the most memorable game that I will broadcast for a long time. As we mentioned, the stakes were high. PW had not lost a conference game since 2010. And right. the way the Cardinals won it, mm -hmm. nobody saw it. Nobody knew that John Lay was going to run for that touchdown with like less than a minute to go. Yeah. It, was, it was a surprising play and a thrilling play at that. Definitely. And <clears throat> as we mentioned, the Cardinals tied it up and the Colonials got the ball back with enough, uh, enough time to drive one more time. Yep. And there was a uh, controversial pass interference call against the Cardinals, which gave Colonials another first down and kept the drive going. And then, but then of course that fourth and two, very similar to last year when the Cardinals needed to stop on fourth and two and couldn't get it. Yeah, there were uh, there were a couple of controversial plays. The refs, uh, for a little while, were not necessarily in the Cardinals' favor. But uh, in the end, the Cardinals came away with it. And Khalif Lee, what a game for him. As we mentioned, his second straight game with three touchdowns. He has just been on fire since mm -hmm. the West game. And uh, hopefully, and I think it will continue. Definitely. And um, as we mentioned, Matt, Tom <coughs> Matt Thompson excuse me, with the catch <laughs> of the year, I don't even know how to explain how that, that happened. A miraculous catch. That tied the game up, and then of course John Lee, the senior. It's it's great to see all the seniors really step up in the big moments with Matt Thompson That's and right. the catch. Going John out with Lee, bang. yep, and Tom Henning with the sack. Yep. To uh, end the game. So this week the Cardinals now for the first time are in sole possession of first place in the conference. If they win their final three games, they are the conference champions. This week a tough test against the Upper Moreland Golden Bears. And John, what do you expect to see uh, this Friday night? Well, uh, it shouldn't come as any surprise, but I expect another big game for Khalid <laughs> Lee. As we mentioned, yeah. six touchdowns in his last mm -hmm. two games. I can see him running all over the Upper Moreland defense. Yeah, and speaking of running all over defenses, Upper Moreland has a pretty good running back in Tyler Whitmore. He's scored five touchdowns and ran for 250 yards last week against Upper Marion. It could be a threat to the Upper Dublin defense. One of the best backs in the conference, so the Cardinals defense will definitely have to key, on, key in on him and stop the run for Upper Moreland. So this Friday night, it is the homecoming game for the Cardinals. They face the Upper Moreland Golden Bears with a chance to continue their voyage to the conference title. We'll see you Friday night. <laughs> 